Hey, welcome back to Cincy Fish Dudes. It's just a nice weekday night. The sun is setting. We're down here from the Little Miami River. Just doing a little species assessment to see what we can catch tonight. No big deal. Uh, throwing out crappie heads, um, paddle tails, chatterbaits, uh, grubs, and uh, Neil's already on the crappie. We'll see that in just a second. And, uh, but before we get started, check out this shirt. See this hat? Let's take a look at our sponsor. This episode of Scentsy Fish Dudes is sponsored by Good River. Check them out at www.thegoodriver.com or find the link to them in our description below. They have all kinds of awesome Ohio and fishing inspired apparel, including shirts, hats, and even unique fishing lures. All right, little Miami River. We are back. Let's do a species assessment. I'm going to start off a little square bill and a crankbait. And I'm also going to throw a crappie head out. If I can find a worm around here, I'll throw that out too. Maybe we can get a drum. Crappie? I don't know. It's getting bites. Single tail grubs? Yes. There are some of us out here, but not many. But there are definitely some of us out there that walk around with dead fish heads in their bag. All right, let's throw that out there and then see what we can catch out there in those rapids. That was a tricky shot. <laughs> oh God. All right. All right, little Miami. Here we go. A small chatter bait. Neil's on. Oh, White bass? Crappie. Crappie. That's my first crappie ever in the little Miami. Yeah. That's pretty we cool. don't catch them a lot here. And it's nice that I threw a crappie head here, Neil. So that means, you know, that catfish might be used to crappie around this area. He didn't get this one. Oh, I see. He'll get it. Train track is awesome in the background. No, is that the same thing I lost my chatter bite on? On my uh, square bill? Oh, I like that one too. Got it. Is this your cicada? Yeah, you found it? Yeah. Yes. Dude, that thing is perfect. Well, it was until I I hit it on the tree and it went flying. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, just uh, another month or so till we're uh, fishing these guys. First LMR smallmouth of the year. Yes, just around that structure. Yeah, yeah, right by those branches down there. Little guy. Look at those cool stripes up here. Oh, oh wow, I don't see them striped like that very often yeah. as a little guy. Go on down there, buddy. All right, it's be a nice and silent entrance and let's just jump around like a crawdad. Fish on! Neil, I'm going to drop it down to you to release it, okay? What the heck is that? Looks like a spotted. There we go. Bridge fishing. What were you using, Paul? Tube. Hey, we got to spot it. 
All right, I'm finally on the board. My first little Miami fish of the year, a spotted bass. Um, first spotted bass of the season. So, uh, all right, got a new species. Neil got a smallie and a uh, crappie. So we're, we're doing okay tonight, we're doing okay. So I'm gonna drop this down to Neil. Caught that on coffee tubes. Um, it's coffee and salt impregnated. Hmm. These are just flipping tubes. Green pumpkin. All right, they worked. Let's do it again. Fish on. Right. Judging by the look, that looks like it possibly be a large mouth, but let's check in the old uh, mouth here and feel that tongue. All right, I'm gonna feel in this patch. Yep, that's a spot it. That is cool, that is cool. <laughs> I was gonna sneak it right by your face. Spotted. Fast delivery. All right, Neil's on with species number four. He's got himself the little Miami white bass. I wonder if that start they're starting to run from the Ohio yet. Temperatures need to go up a little bit more, and they'll they should be uh, starting the white bass run. Would you catch that on Neil? Uh, white grub fire, baby. White grub fire is working yeah, for him down there. Hey, he got himself a little Miami River sauger. That is awesome. Right at sunset too. Keep going. right at sunset all right that'll wrap it up here at the little miami river tonight um, this video is not over yet i yesterday i joined barbell outdoors link to his channel is in the description below we got up at 5 about 5 30 in the morning headed two hours north up to you know what let's just watch the video thanks we'll see you soon good morning the sun is rising and we are heading a couple hours north of cincinnati to get something that we don't see very much in Cincinnati, and that's a uh, brown, brown trout, Salmo truta. We have the potential for some rainbows. Uh, I've never caught a bow out of the med, but hopefully, I mean, I know people who have. They're there. Nice. And we're gonna hit the Mad River. Yeah, up by. Uh, we're gonna be near Urbana and Piqua between there. We've got a few spots to hit. I spent a lot of time looking and making markers. That was awesome. That seemed like a big one. There's, there we go. Damn it, that, that was a definite bite. That was definite, it shook it. Just hanging out off that little stream coming in. What's up buddies? Kind of, what kind are those? Those are scoby ducks. Scoby ducks. Are <laughs> they either the scoby ducks or ruddy ducks? I'm not sure exactly which. All right, getting a little sexy time action over there. That's, dude, that is all ducks do. My girls' ducks do that all the time. What's up, buddy? All right. We're at a small dam here at the Mad River. Oh. Whoa, whoa, you okay? You okay? You all right? Did you slip? Where'd you slip? My shoes slid down those dry rocks. How's that happen? Get that? Yeah, I think. Hey! 
Um, hopefully Barbell sends the footage or got saved, but I just slipped down these rocks into about six feet of dam all the way up to my head. And uh, if this would have last week or a week before, I'd have hypothermia by now. But we're getting into the 70s and I'm actually not that bad. So I can keep going. Uh, hopefully my GoPro rig and all that still works. iPhone still works. But that's going on my fishing tail video. Come on, guys. I wonder if I should just go down to a, just a trout magnet. There's one. We are on the board today after just fishing for 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. Got yourself a creek chub. It's a female. Look at that. Female. Eggs. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that belly. Healthy chub, look at See, that, another saying, female. Like, there's like some solid tree chubs in here. All right. Because besides pickerel, these are really the only predators here. Actually, that's not true. We've caught some smallmouth here in the past. There you go. Look at that, look at the freaking size of that creek chub, dude. It's just some big fat bellies. It's huge. Some good flathead. Bait that'd be some serious flathead bait or a good that, that's good swally bait hybrid bait whatever yeah if none ever... of those spines they just juicy fish oh look at that there you go <laughs> hung them up in a tree look at that male that, that's, that's a, a male because the red right yeah look at that that is a spawn dude let's male. look at the it's got the what tube tube tubercles we'll tubercles see. yeah he's got some horns hold that for me Hell real quick yeah. i saw the water boil it's like trout fishing Think any trouts get in here? Oh, maybe. I doubt it though. Yeah, a little picture with That's that. a freaking awesome creek chub. Yeah. Is he mating? Yeah. Well, let's see the horns on his head. Yeah, I see it. Look at that. <sighs> yeah, a little picture of him real quick. Look at that. Just a tiny, yeah. Sweet. Catching small mouths. Oh, I just caught a lunker small mouth. <laughs> lunker. <laughs> there he is. He does it again. That's a little ribbon snake. Hey, you gotta give me credit. The last time you caught one of these in my video, I did not refer to you as Jake the Snake. I've never heard that one before. I know, and I held it off. That's a ribbon, looks like a ribbon snake. That is not a garter snake. That is definitely a ribbon snake. Let me take a portrait video. Yeah. Sure. Or a portrait. So would you say a ribbon snake? It's a ribbon snake, yeah. Another creek job. Black stripe, oh, black stripe top minnow. All right, what is that? Third species? Third day? species. It's a oh, that's cool. That doesn't count. Yeah, they're fundalus. They're like a killer fish. They're the only native ones that we have here. That's awesome. Actually, that's not true. We have stud fish too. Little bass. Smally? Yeah. You know what? That's my first smally of the year. First smally of the year? All right, there you go. Last year, my first smallie of the year was 18 and a half inches. This year, it's probably not even three. <laughs> not only was that Jake's first smallie of the year, that was also Neil and my first smallmouth of the year. And although they weren't great in size, it was a good sign that that bite is starting to pick up. Awesome evening on the Little Miami River last night. Temperatures were almost to the 80s. The water temperatures felt comfortable to wade in um, without waders. And it was cool catching all those species. As always, it was a great time fishing with Jake from Barbell Outdoors. Link in the description down below. 
Um, he has a vast amount of knowledge about all things fishing and nature, so it's always a great time out there um, angling with him. Barbell and I actually caught a few more species on that river walk, um, but my battery ran out on my GoPro. I was having little issues because I took a fun little tumble in the spillway, which I will not recommend to anybody, but you know, there's always a first for everything. And if you haven't before, we always appreciate a like, a subscribe, hit the bell, the comment, all that stuff. So let's see what we'll be getting into next week. Have a good one.